Don't know why you have heard But you're sound and absurd Can't you see this is real? I just got to my appointment to get my hair cut And let me tell y'all, it is so rough underneath here Like, me, I don't know if you can see But it's been two months since I've had my last haircut And I was really supposed to go last week But then I just got super busy But I just need to put my hair in a ponytail Because... There is no way he's gonna cut my hair while my braids are down. And I can't even put my hand upon his telling hair. All of this needs to be gone, so. Great, I'm back. But I'm about to go home and shower because first of all, I'm sweating. Like it is legit warm out. Check out the haircut. Check it out. I'm a brand new person. I really wanna bring my haircut up a little bit more because the less hair, the better. Baby, you could keep me going. Cause you've been everywhere Let me take up all the love you're showing I'm gonna be vlogging on my phone for this vlog Because I haven't gained the confidence enough to vlog in Target with my big camera I guess this would be like a, a hygiene shopping vlog Because all of the stuff that I'm shopping for today is gonna be body care products Sometimes I wish you never told me that you love me Cause I feel like I got too much to lose you tell me, baby, that's an excuse And I wish I believed that that was true Sometimes I wonder if we meant to be I guess that we gon' see I ask myself, I wonder if I wonder too much Overthinking mind up in the clouds Would the thunder get us down? I don't know You know my daddy wasn't around To make my mama smile for excuses But honestly, I don't know why I still at first, I was gonna go to Ikea to pick up some dishes, but like, look at these plates. I think I'm just gonna get them here, and they're all at like Walmart, and they're super cheap. So I might just do that. And like these bowls and stuff, I can use these for my acai bowls or like cereal, or my oatmeal too. So I actually got a good amount of stuff at this Walmart, which I never really even come to. There's another location that I usually go to, and I wasn't expecting for them to have as many like body care products as they did. But I still want to go to Target because I want to go pick up some Love Body and Planet products. I think that's the brand name. And I also want to see if I can find another flavor or is it not another flavor but another different scent in the method body like body wash because they only had one here at walmart and i never even knew that they sold method body i thought that was just a target thing off to target we go she likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine she likes no that say i love you all the time roses at your feet baby girl be mine baby girl be mine yeah Hey, look, pick up your phone, I need your attention My girl so bad, we call her detention I am so glad we moved beyond friendship I am so glad your mama like me Sweat up with Cupid, told her fight me I stole your love, he shot my heart I'm losing breath, it's getting dark I think I might need CPR Tell me, do you love me like I do? Tell me what you willing to prove Cause I ain't got nothing to lose It's true, you mean the world to me Around the globe, but I know that you the only girl for me And I gotta let you know She likes chocolate covered strawberries and So wine. that was a flop because I went to a super target And I'm disappointed They did not have what I needed them to have They didn't have any method body Or like a variety of body washes that I could use They didn't have a whole lot, and I'm not about to run to the other target because it was already crowded for it to be. It's like <coughs> four o'clock. That was dumb. Hold on. It's already crowded, and it's only four o'clock on like a Friday. Why? Why are people out shopping? I don't like to shop when there's a lot of people. I can't concentrate because I hate people. I'm gonna get some gas. Then I'm gonna go pick up some dinner which 
I feel like I'm gonna just go to Vegan East and pick up a sandwich and probably a cookie or something. And then this man is like laughing at me because he probably thinks I'm just like look at him. But um, let me just run my window up. Yeah, this man is just like laughing and smiling at me. He's probably like, what is she do? Who is she talking to, sir? I'm vlogging. Anyway, I'm gonna pick up some dinner and go to Vegan East. I'll do my haul later on, like during the evening, just because I also have to go pick up my my Lush orders from the store. I have to go to the mall and pick it up. Talk about golden hour. And it's only four o'clock. And this is on my phone, by the way. That was definitely an accident. And the front of that truck is towed up like tow all the way up but i hope nobody got hurt it is literally so packed here like where is everybody going i just want a piece of my throw it back one time up on me like that i'll be on my mind I literally only had this for a couple of hours, but I've already tried it, so that's why the packaging looks like this. But I picked up this shaving cream, and it's called Shaved Ice. Then I picked up this shower gel that is called Sleepy. I picked up, well, I already had the lotion to this, and it smells so good. It's like a, a lavender smell. But when I ordered it online for it to be picked up, I didn't know that this size was going to be as small as it is. $10 for three fluid ounces. It's kind of a lot. This is my first time trying this. The dusting powder is called Silky Underwear. When I asked one of the workers about this, she said that she usually puts this like in between her thighs to stop from like chafing. She does that instead of using powder. She also puts this like on her skin before she applies her lotion. You can also sprinkle this on your sheets or your pillowcase too. So I'm gonna be trying that because I've never had a dusting powder. So this shower gel is called Snow Fairy. I got a variety of body scrubs, face and body masks, cleansers, uh, shower gels, some massage like body bars, which I've never had. So this is a lotion I was telling y'all about that I already have in the same scent as this shower gel. Originally, I picked up this body lotion, which I've already used it because I've had it for about a month now. So they have an entire sleepy collection and I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it all, okay? Then I have this cup of coffee face and body mask. I've used this for my face in the past, but I've never used it on my body. Yep, still smells like coffee. <laughs> this used to be my go-to when I was in college. Then I picked up this Dark Angels face and body cleanser. Ooh, that's pretty dark. So it's an exfoliant and a cleanser. I've never used either of their like body cleansers before, so I really don't know how they're supposed to work, how you're supposed to use them. Then I have Magic Crystals. This is their shower scrub, Lime Bounty Body Butter. I smelled this when I was in the store. I kind of regretted like buying this because most of these scents, it was just so random. This is very loud. It's a very loud smell. But that one is just like key lime pie loud, if that makes sense. Dream Cream Body Lotion. And for this little thing, I paid like $15. We're not even gonna talk about it, okay? You live and you learn. Cookie Dough Lip Scrub. It is, oh, that definitely smells like cookie dough. At least you can eat it if you like it. I also picked up a couple of samples. So I have the rose jam shower gel i also got this oh i did not know how to pronounce this mani minami soma minami soma shower oil one of the workers said that this shower oil you can use it in the shower or oh, wait did she say that i think you can use it after you get out of the shower rub it onto your skin before you apply your lotion or your bedtime cream I can't remember, never mind. I have a sample of the Tingle Body Conditioner. This is the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. These next couple of orders are going to be like foot soaps, 
body bars and massage bars. I also picked up this rose lollipop lip balm. I bought the Buffy body butter and I wish they came in containers rather than just these because when I get them wet in the shower, I don't have any containers to put them in so that they don't get too soggy or anything. Okay. I also bought the Sleepy Soap, the bar soap. As you already saw in some of the clips, their soaps just look so pretty. Why would you not want to have one in your shower? Get one. It smells exactly like the lotion in the shower gel. I have the Charity Pot Coin Naked Body Lotion. This thing is pretty small, so I'm pretty sure I bought like two of these. This next one is the Sleepy... <laughs> I forgot how many like sleepy things I actually bought. Okay, the Sleepy Face Naked Cleansing Balm. This next one is the Coco Loco Naked Shower Oil. It's like a little teardrop with like chocolate chips in it. This one is the Argan Naked Facial Oil. But I'm guessing I can use this to just like take off my makeup. The next soap I have is called Karma. That is so loud. This is the 7 to 3 cleansing pad. This massage bar is a sleep massage bar. I think the designs on most of their massage bars are so cute. Okay, you really can't tell a body, like a person's body on this. The last part that we have here is the Pumice Power Foot Soap. I've never had a soap dedicated to feet. Low key, this is ugly. It looks like a sweet potato and it smells like a carrot. But it's gone on my feet, so I really won't. I don't have to worry about smelling it too much. I will start off with these Lola regular tampons. This is my first time trying this brand, but I've heard really good things about them. They're plant based, they don't have any like chlorine bleach in it, which. What is a tampon even doing having chlorine bleach, chlorine bleach in them in the first place? Then I just picked up these two little basic packs of washcloths. I got these in a pack of six. I picked up this Honeypot Sister Foaming Wash, which I've already had. One, the Honeypot Calming Lavender Rose Panty Spray. I'm excited to try this. I'm just gonna. Oh! It smells good. I have a lot of like lavender scented stuff. So this is gonna go well with like the Sleepy Collection from Lush. When I do all this stuff for my nighttime routine. Love Beauty and Planet. This is a whipped body scrub. So I never even knew that they made body scrubs. But I also wanted some more of their uh, body washes. Yeah, and I didn't see any in the Super Target I went to. So I'm a little salty about that. But this is in the flavor Coconut and Warm Vanilla. Then I picked up some wipes. Some hydrogen wipes and like Clorox wipes. These are regular just like hand wipes. Oh, then I use these in the bathroom because these are a lot better than tissue in my opinion. And these are flushable too. So 48 comes in a pack and then they come in a pack of three. The other wipes I have are these, I think this is just a Target brand flushable cleansing cloths. So I decided to try Native again. I picked up two of their deodorants. Let me tell you. The last time I tried these deodorants were last year, and maybe I just didn't stick with it long enough for my body to get used to it, but the first like two months, it just made me smell. I had to apply a lot more in a day than I've ever had with the deodorant, but maybe that's just because this deodorant is drawing out like all of the toxins and all of the bad stuff that the other deodorants have been like keeping in. So I'm gonna give this a try. <laughs> we'll see how it goes but I got them in the scent citrus and herbal musk and the eucalyptus and mint I picked up the dr. Bronner's pure Castile soap love beauty and planet had hand sanitizers which I also never knew so maybe they just came out with these I don't know I've just never seen them I have them in the scents green clay and eucalyptus and lavender and what is that hyssop hyssop I don't know how to pronounce that Back at it again with the native body washes. Uh, I got the coconut and vanilla and then the citrus and herbal musk, just like the deodorant. I was only able to find one body wash from Method Body. My favorite scent from this brand is like their strawberry cherry, raspberry-ish, whichever one that's pink, that's my favorite one. But Target didn't have any of these. 
Next, I have this hand soap, which is basic. It's just Mrs. Meyer's like clean day. I don't even think it has a scent. I picked up another vegan deodorant, which I've never tried. It's called Schmitz Natural Deodorant. I don't know if I like that smell. The last couple of things I have are these Honey Pot Company like wipes. The cucumber aloe wipes, normal wipes, and then the sensitive wipes that can be used for your intimate parts, body, and your face. That's everything from Target and Walmart. Merry Christmas. I start with the loofahs. I've never had one of these before. This is an exfoliating loofah. Like, look how cute that is. I think I have more loofahs and exfoliating brushes than anything. Here's another set of some sponges. I actually bought these at Ikea like way back when and I didn't even know that they were a pack of loofahs. I'm pretty sure there's like three of them in here. This is another set of some sponges just in a different color. I have this pack of like four loofahs. I run through loofahs like it's nobody's business because I change up my loofahs typically two to three weeks which is what you're supposed to do these are my favorite loofahs right here these are the foam bath sponges and i love these they might be it oh never mind i spoke too soon another little loofah okay i have this exfoliating body scrubber this like face and body sponge duo reusable washcloth made by lutz and willow another set of body scrubs if you can't already tell i love to exfoliate now what is this one a cecil I think that's how you say it. A Cecil exfoliating washcloth. TJ Maxx and Marshalls have so many great options for like sustainable, eco-friendly body tools. Like they're just perfection. And I got like five different packs of exfoliating gloves. These next two things are a smooth bag treatment. So they're basically like the exfoliating like sponges for your back and they're on a string and so if you don't like using a brush to reach all the way back there you can take it i'll show y'all in like a video that i do for like my shower routine but you take like one of the handles and take the other side you whip it behind your back and you just say scrub like you scrub the back scrubber scrub a dub dub is what it's called i guess and these are just body brushes body scrubbers they're all different so this one has what detachable brush head it has like these little i don't know if these are beads or what they are i have this exfoliating bath loofah which i don't even know how i'm gonna use it because it looks like it's gonna be rough and then I just bought these makeup brush cleansing mats. I bought this one and a pink one. This pack of five bamboo toothbrushes. And last but not least, these are all vegan satin pillowcases. I believe that is everything. Like everything for now. That is the end of my hygiene shopping haul and my vlog. If you enjoyed this video, which I know you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below some of your favorite hygiene products and the places that you like to shop at. And um, what else? And don't forget to subscribe. Why is there no